Metal Jesus here, and this week I'm super excited to bring to you the co-founders of the Seattle Retro Gamers Expo that's happening in a week and a half here in Seattle. Now this is going to be awesome if you are a retro gamer fan like me. You've been wondering why we haven't had one of these in the past, and I'm here to talk to these guys and ask them all about it. So let's get started. All right, well, I'm here with Nate and Gerald, the co-creators of the Seattle Retros Gamers Expo. <laughs> Every time I say that, I'm like stumbling over that. <laughs> but um, I want to ask you guys a bunch of questions about this. I'm really excited about it. And I kind of want you to talk about sort of the, the genesis of it. What, why is it happening now? You know, as a gamer myself, a couple years ago, I was looking for a retro gaming uh, expo here in Seattle. I was surprised that I couldn't find one. It seemed like there's only one in Portland. It seems kind of odd, right? Well, you know, the Seattle Retro Gaming Expo isn't actually the first expo um, in Seattle. Uh, it started about 10 years ago um, uh, with the Classic Gaming Expo, which takes place in Las Vegas, uh, alternately in California. Okay. And uh, a group of uh, people who wanted to have something in their area, in this area of Seattle, um, put together a group called the Northwest Classic Games Enthusiasts. And they did their own shows. Um, they were on a, a kind of a smaller scale, basically just an opportunity for a bunch of friends to get together who knew each other and were a part of the retro gaming community. And uh, they weren't able to keep they weren't able to keep the show up, so it faltered and went away for a little while. And uh, one of the fellows from that group actually started the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. Okay. And uh, after a couple of years of watching it grow and watching it be yeah. really successful, um, you know, I felt that we really wanted to bring in that same excitement to Seattle. Yeah, because we have in Seattle, for those that don't know, we have Nintendo here, we have Microsoft, there's PopCap, there's Valve, there's just a ton of video game history here. And it's kind of odd, right, that there hasn't been sort of a dedicated show. I mean, there's PAX, yeah. but, but retro gaming is a very small part of PAX, right? Yeah, ex exactly. For the longest time, if you wanted to go to a cool show, you had to drive to Portland. So we basically, we knew that there was a community here for it. We knew that we just had to organize it, have a good show, and people would come, you know, so. So why don't you tell me a little bit about who's going to be there? Okay, sure. Uh, well, first of all, there's going to be Northwest Harvest. Uh, they're they're going to have a booth, and they're going to be selling stuff for um, Nolan O'Brien, and we're, we'll, we'll get into that a little bit more later. Um, we're going to have Hyperkin coming up from California. They make really, really cool products like the portable Nintendos, and I think they they have a portable Super Nintendo on the market, and just all kinds of neat stuff. They're going to be here. Uh, we have a lot of local stores. Um, another Castle is going to be here, Game Gurus, D-Pad Games is, is going to be here, and they're going to actually be running the free playroom, and we'll have more on that later. Oh, yeah. That's going to be very, very cool. Um, we just have a huge amount, you, you, you know, like all of the, a lot of the local gaming stores. Um, Digital Soaps is going to be there, so uh, I'm really excited about that. Uh, basically, they create soap representations of video game stuff, like controllers, cartridges. They're really, 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 really neat. So I'm, huh. so I'm stoked about that. Um, yeah. One of our one of our kind of mission statements as an organization is to build a community in Seattle that does like celebrate classic games and classic gamers. Uh, and one of the ways that we're doing that is bringing local businesses into this expo and exposing them to people who are so used to buying their games on Amazon.com or eBay. Yeah. We yeah. want to show them that there's just as many passionate gamers, you know, just down the street. Yeah. And uh, they do some really creative things. So I'm also really excited about digital soap. So very cool. So tell me about uh, where it's going to be, when it's going to be, the price and all that stuff. Sure. It's uh, it's going to be at the Hotel Decca that's in the University District, uh, just off of I-5. Uh, the Hotel Teca is a, is a great location. It's got this kind of art deco feel, and it's got just enough space for us this year, our first year. Uh, there's also the district uh, jazz bar downstairs, and of course you can stay at the hotel. Uh, just steps away from the show floor is Pink Gorilla, our event sponsor. Again, they're a, they're a wonderful presence here, and we're really happy to have them um, doing some of the events that they're doing for us. Um, the show is on the 28th and 29th of May. Uh, it opens at 9 a.m. for people who pre-register on our website, or purchase pre-sale tickets at one of our retail partners. Um, you can find out more about that on the website. Um, but it goes from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. for the vendor hall on Saturday, and then 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sunday. Uh, now that's just the, the vendor hall, which arguably is the biggest draw, but the uh, 
console free play zone and the tournament zones, they're going to basically stay open as late as they can, uh, at least probably until 8, 9, 10 o'clock at night. And at Pink Gorilla and around the area, um, there's going to be events all weekend long. So once you're done at the show, you can go to our charity auction or you can go to uh, Pink Gorilla. They have, they have a special sale just for attendees. Uh, and then Sunday night, of course, we have the Battle Tech Royale with Chiefs. All right, so I'd like to ask about the charity auction and the really interesting story that's behind that. Can you, can you tell me a little bit more about it? Uh, the charity auction is taking place on Saturday night. Uh, anybody who has been to one of, our, one of the other uh, smaller shows that you see, like CGE or PRGE, knows that they do uh, auctions, where, which is an opportunity because there's so many collectors in the area. Um, you know, it's a great time for them to see some really rare stuff. But uh, our charity auction uh, is a little bit different because we actually partnered up with Nolan O'Brien, uh, who's a wonderful guy, and uh, he donated his entire console collection to us so that we could um, make some money for a great charity. And the, uh, the story behind why he started this collection is really fascinating. It's, it's uh, a good story. It started with uh, he lost his father, and as a method of coping with that, he decided to kind of throw his heart, his passion into uh, collecting games and systems, and that's where the, the genesis of the, the, the collection started. And uh, when he was done with that, like you said, he had collected, I think, all but like two systems or something. And there's there's things, there are systems in there that I've never even heard of. Yeah, totally. There's, there's like an eight track system. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I saw it. I know. It's, it's crazy, um, the, the stuff that he's got. But um, he felt it wasn't fair to make a profit off of this, uh, this collection because it had done so much good for him emotionally hmm. that he wanted to give it back uh, in the best way he could. And so that's when No Plus Harvest got involved. Now, when you say entire console collection, uh, you mean that, right? Like, it's, it's huge. It's pretty nutty. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of really cool stuff in there. Uh, just a couple things off the top of my head. Like, there was a Neo Geo CD with four games. Uh, there was a boxed PCFX with three games, and everything's in excellent condition. Uh, check out our Facebook and, and, and check out our site for some pictures, especially on our Facebook. On Facebook, we have 20 pictures, approximately, and we're going to have even more. There's lots of really cool stuff. So, basically, um, a few months ago, we just got an email from, from Nolan, and he just said, hey, can you guys help me generate some money for Northwest Harvest? I, I, can you help me basically more or less convert this into money for Northwest Harvest? And we, we were just like, of course. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. How awesome is that? Yeah. You know, we're giving him a table, and at the table, you can walk up and, and, and buy stuff off, off of him, and this is all going to go 100% to Northwest Harvest, all, all of Nolan's items. And the rarer stuff, we're going to put in the auction. So I believe he's got about 20, 25 slots in our auction somewhere around there uh, for his more rare items. And we've got pictures up on Facebook, and yeah, you guys should just check it out. It looks cool. Yeah, yeah. A lot of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff. Yeah. yeah. Hey, what about Battletech Royale with cheese? So, Battletech Royale with Cheese, so SRG, in association with Laughs Comedy Club and the Airlock in Kirkland, uh, we wanted to, to kind of do something after the show, something that would be fun and possibly involve alcohol and mechs, and so um, we, we talked to Laughs, and they're going to bring in some of the geekiest comedians around to uh, entertain us. As, as, as a matter of fact, one, one of the guys I know is the number two PowerPoint comedian in the area, so you guys are in for a treat. <laughs> Totally. And um, right next to them is the airlock. See, I always mess this up. How do you describe it? It's mech pods, <laughs> right? Like yeah, anybody who's, who's grown up in Seattle will remember um, the Wizards of the Coast uh, yeah. location-based entertainment venue in the University District. Right. And uh, when that shut down, they had these huge, like, total immersion pods playing this game called uh, Battletech. And Red Planet, for those of you that remember. And Red Planet. Oh. And basically you, you open up the door, you know, it opens up, you get down, and you sit in a, a chair with all these screens and buttons and levers and everything you could imagine would be inside a 60 foot tall walking tank. I am so going to this. <laughs> it's going to be awesome. Yeah. And yeah, you, you've got multiple screens and you're literally dropped into this field with other combatants and you you know, you know fight, there's capture the flag, there's your typical stuff, but it's a total immersion experience. Yeah. Uh, it was a shame to see it close down with Wizards of the Coast, but these fellows um, bought the actual pods, they bought the technology, and they opened up a store that just has these incredible games and it's right next to Last Comedy Club. All right, I'm here with Emilio and Travis from D-Pad. That is a retro gaming store in Buren, and they're going to tell us all about the free play section of Seattle Retro Gamer Expo. Hey, how you doing? Um, yeah, we're really excited, man. We're running a, this year's first free playroom. Um, Travis owns every U.S. NES game out there. 
and we're really pumped up. Uh, we want to make the free playroom uh, one of our biggest things for the event. Uh, we're not just working on just the NES set, we're actually halfway with the Super Nintendo set. Uh, we're trying to work for the Atari set and possibly the N64 set too. Also focusing on like 3DO, um, triple graphics and other stuff like that. Um, Travis really got me back into Atari, so I figured, hey, you know, with the free playroom, we're going to do a lot of old stuff to bring the roots back up so that people can enjoy it, and then kids that missed it will be able to enjoy it on the show. That sounds awesome. And by the way, speaking of Atari, I am the master of Hero. Is that That's right? That's my game. Oh, yes, wow. Indeed. I'll have to challenge you at that. Really? With a little practice. Okay. <laughs> okay. But I like a good challenge. I'll yeah, that sounds awesome. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. So tell me about the, the your collection of, of NES games. That sounds okay. amazing. Yes, I'd love to. It is amazing. It's, it's, it's been a lot of work and it's, you know, proud to say we've collected the set here in the Pacific Northwest from all the local stores and help from all the good people that obviously work there. And uh, yeah, we're very proud of the set. I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, yeah, it should be very, very cool. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah, and I can't right. wait here. Can I throw one thing in there? Absolutely. I'm not. I just want to say, hey, come on down to the show. It's going to be the coolest thing since that show, ALF. You, you're dying that for cool? an ALF collector. Is that cool? <laughs> yeah. Is, no, there's an ALF game, right? <coughs> on some not, system. I don't, not that I'm aware of. What? All right, well, it's been really cool coming down here and meeting the people who are going to be putting on the Seattle Retro Gamers Expo. Um, everyone should go. It's going to be just in another week, and I hope to see you there. Take care.